Okay, today I'm going to be putting my arm in a high pressure chamber. So a while ago I put my arm in a vacuum chamber. That was a little harder to build because I had to have a rigid structure, but with high pressure, it doesn't need to be rigid, but it just needs to be able to hold the pressure in. So a soda bottle actually does really good because uh, they can hold around 30 PSI or more. So I've got a soda bottle here hooked to my air compressor and then I'm gonna pressurize it. We'll see how high a pressure we get. But ever since I did the vacuum chamber experiment with my arm, people have been requesting that I put my arm in the pressure chamber because I've done more experiments in a high pressure chamber. So let's see what an arm does in a high pressure chamber. So the hardest part about this whole setup is keeping your arm in the chamber because there's so much force from the pressure inside, it just wants to push your arm out of the chamber. So whenever you stick it in, either the air leaks or if you get a good seal, your hand pops out. So what you have to do is create a self-sealing seal. And so basically, I'm gonna fold this in on itself, have my hand in there, and as the pressure increases, it tightens it on my hand. So it'll still push my hand out, but I think it'll get a good enough seal to get some pressure in there. Okay, I'm controlling the air right here. Here we go, let's try to get a good seal. Okay, so as soon as it shoots my arm back, as soon as it starts pushing my arm back, it should um, seal for a short amount of time and it will be able to pressurize my arm in there. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa, that was crazy. So as soon as it started pressurizing, it got really warm. So I felt the compressed air getting warmer. That's awesome. <laughs> Sorry, awesome for me, not for you, because you guys can't feel it, but I actually felt the compressed air getting warmer. That's so cool. Let me try to get my arm back in there and do it again. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> okay, let's give it one more try. The hard part is getting a good seal and it only stays for a little bit before it shoots off my hand. Oh, there we go. I'm trying to get that rocket hand. <laughs> there it went. So yeah, what's so cool about this is that I've measured before when you lit air back into the vacuum chamber or when you compress air, you can see the temperature change and you can measure it on a thermometer that's in there. So you can measure it in your thermometer, but what's really cool about this is that I can actually feel the air getting warmer. As soon as it catches my arm and starts pressurizing, I can feel the air instantly get really warm. It's really cool. I got a little better seal on this. I made the inlet smaller where it clamps down on my arm. Three, two, one. Whoa. Okay, that one I could feel a good amount of pressure on my arm. Okay, now I'm gonna try to keep the pressure in. I'm going to push my arm against this and so it doesn't pop out and doesn't break the seal. Probably won't be able to do it though because I have this turned up to around 120 PSI. Uh, so there's really no way that I'd be able to force my hand into it, but I'm gonna try. Okay, so the best way to describe this is actually just having a tight wrap around your hand or being uh, underwater. When you put your hand underwater, that's a good example of it. So that's what it feels like. So picture if you were to put your hand in a bag or something, you can feel that pressure on your hand. If you were to put your arm in a deep amount of water, that's what it feels like. Um, it's not painful, it just kind of pushes all the blood back into my arm. The vacuum on the other hand, it did the opposite and it sucked the blood out of my arm. So that was a lot worse because I'd rather have the blood still in my body than coming out of my hand. <laughs> but the coolest part about this was feeling the temperature change of the compressed air. As soon as the seal catches, I can feel the compressed air get immediately hot around my hand. That was really neat. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. If you're not subscribed yet, remember to subscribe and leave me a comment in the comments section for anything or any cool experiment you'd like to see me do next time and we'll see you next time.